Assalamualaikum and good day to all Today, I, Cikgu Azrul We continue on Mathematics Year 4 Okay We are still in the chapter of time A bit of it, we are learning I am teaching you about Division of time Okay, we we'll continue on the next slide Okay, now we look at the picture here The picture shown about archery training Okay, 3 places in, in 12 days, 9 hours So we look at the question What is the duration in hours for one phase of archery training If the duration for each phase is the same? Okay, first thing first We write the mathematics question first 12 days, 9 hours Divide by 3 and the answer in hours okay. After that, we do the long division okay. Okay, 12 days 9 hours divide by 3 We're, We are separating by days and hours okay, Now 12 days divide by 3 okay, 4 times 3 become 12 12 minus by 12 0 Now 9 hours divide by 3 Got 3 there 9 minus 9 0 This is as simple as the normal division Okay now The answer here is 4 days and 3 hours But the answer for the questions The question wants in hours What we should do We should convert days to hours Okay now We take 4 days Times with what? How many days in uh, how many hours in day to find the total hours for days? Now 34 hours times with 4. The answer here is 96 hours. For 4 days is equal to 96 hours. There is extra 3 hours there. So we add 4 days 3 hours is equal to 96 hours. Is equal to 4 days plus add or add with 3 hours 96 plus 3 is become 99 hours so the answer for this question 12 days 9 hours divided by 3 is equal to 99 hours ok next we go to the next example the second example here based on this newspaper article 60 hours non-stop book sale and we look at the questions like that how long was the book sale held in days and hours? The 60 hours non-stop book sale And the answer in days and hours So we write the mathematic question first 60 hours in days and hours So 60 hours divided by 24 60 hours divided by 24 is equal in days and hours Either you can divide or you can subtract I choose to show you the example of subtract in 24 hours okay. 60 days subtract to 24 hours is equal to 1 day you can find the answer by subtract normal subtraction borrow from 6 take 1 10 minus 4 5 minus 2 got 36 hours 36 hours is more than 24 hours more than 1 day so we subtract another 24 The remaining is 12 hours To determine how many days here There is 24 hours for one day And another 24 hours So this is one day for and one day The total of day here is 2 days So the answer for 60 hours divided by 24 Is equal to equal 2 days and 12 hours Look at the example number three. Example number three. The question is weeks. Ten weeks divided by seven equal answer in weeks and days. Now we write the long division. Eh? Ten weeks zero days because the yeah. question was in answer week and days. So we separating week and days. So ten weeks ten divided by seven. with 10 days 10 divided by 7 1 1 times 7 7 
10 minus by 7 got the answer B. Now, 3 weeks to convert 2 days. 1 week is equal to 7 days, so 3 weeks. 3 times 7 equal 21 days. So, we write down below the, the question there, 21 days. 21 add with 0 from the base question. The answer is 21 days. Okay, 21 now can be divided by 7. The answer for above is 3. 3 times 7, 21. 21 minus by 21 plus 0. Now, the answer for 10 weeks divided by 7 is equal to 1 week, 3 days. The next example, example number 4. The question is in years and months. 9 years, 4 months divided by 7. The answer so, one in year and month. Okay, we do the long division. We write the long division there. 9 years divided by 7. 4 months divided by 7. We do it separately. Years and months. 1 times 7. No, 7. 9 subtract by 7. Got the answer 2 years here. 2 years how many months? Okay, 2 years times 12 months. Because 1 year is equal to 12 months. So, the answer for here. 2 years is equal to 24 months. So we write um, 4 months add with 24 months there. 4 add with 24 got 28 months. 28 months can divide by 7. 4 times 7 becomes 28. Okay, 4 times 7 becomes 28. So the answer is 4 months. Completing the division there, 28 minus by 28, 0. Please make sure you finish the division, the long division. Okay, now, the answer for 9 years, 4 months divided by 7 is 1 year and 4 months. Okay, we're continuing on the next example. Okay, now, the question for number 5 is 10 decades, 8 years divided by 12. The answer in years. Okay. Now, I want to show you first to convert decade to years so, okay, 10 decade is equal to 10 times 10 years 10 years one decade is equal to 10 years so 10 decades 10 times 10 years is 100 years you got the answer 100 years for 10 decades now 10 decades 8 years is equal 100 years at with 8 years the answer for one 10 decade 8 years in years is 108 years. Now 108 years can divide easily by 12. You write the long division 108 years divide by 12. The division table of time 12. 9 times 12 become 108. So the division is finished. The answer for above is 9 years. 10 decades, 8 years, divided by 12 is equal to 9 years. Continue and on the next example. Example number 6. 21 centuries, 12 years, divided by 6. The answer in centuries and years. Now, 1 century is equal to 100 years. We write the long division. 31 centuries and 12 years we're doing separately centuries and years 3 centuries 3 times 6 become 18 okay, 21 divided by 18 get the remaining 3 centuries okay, 3 centuries convert to years 1 century is equal 100 years 3 centuries is equal to 300 years so we write below the years there 300 to add 12 years. What 12 add with 300 years is equal to 312 years. Okay, now 312 years divided by 6. You can complete this normally. 312 by, divided by 6. Okay, so the answer for years is 52. The answer for this question is when for the answer for 21 centuries 12 years divided by 6 is 3 centuries and 52 years. Now, the last example, number 7, the question is 3 centuries, 4 years, divided by 8, and the answer in years. Now, 
they converting centuries to years first. Three centuries for years. Three centuries is equal to three hundred years. And add with four years then. So the answer for three centuries for years is equal to three hundred four years. Now, can divide easily three hundred four by eight. Three hundred four years divided by eight. Can complete it normally. 8, 3 times 8, 24, 13, minus by 24, got 6, down 4, and complete the rest, 8 times 8, 64, and 64 minus 64, got 0, now the answer above is only 38 years, so the answer for this question, 3 centuries, 4 years, divided by 8 is equal to 20, 38 years. First, that's all for me, division of time. See you later on another topic. And that's all for me. To be continued. Bye.